Damn, I should have put it on YouTube, Shay. Hey, man, say, man, it's Lil Shay. You rocking right all the way from the Shay Shay. You hear me? Down down at Kashi Library. Today in the building, we got my nigga, man. We got my nigga, man. Um, Face that. Hey, how you want to be introduced? You can introduce yourself if you want to. Um, I'm Key. I go by Art Bay Key, Key Osha. But most of everybody call me Key, Art Bay, you know. All right, babe. You know. You hear me? All right, babe, Key. This my nigga, man. I met her through somebody else, but you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna talk about it. <laughs> but she, but she, we've been cool. We've been locked in there since. You know what I'm saying? Um, Man, this right here, this this person right here, I, an inspiration for me personally. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh-uh. um, I'm always learning something new. You know what I'm saying? Don't cry, don't cry, look at that. You nigga. know I'm a damn, bro. Don't do me like that. <laughs> gangster cry too. You gangsters cry gangster too. Cry. Hell yeah, you already know I'm a cry baby <laughs> ass nigga. Anyways, don't nobody ever repeat that either. I'm bust your head. My nigga, my nigga, Art Bay Key do all the arts. You feel me? Shorty paint. <laughs> look, look at I this paint. thing. This is what I do. Hey, yeah, I had to bring this shit along. Wayne, tell me something though. What, like, what's coming up or something? Mine, not what's coming up. Tell me about you. I want to know about you. I mean, I already know about you, but tell me about you. Where are you from, man? Mine, well, I'll say something that you probably don't really just know. Okay. Well, I'm from South Memphis. Um, grew up with my sister. Grew up with, like, a single, in a single parent home. Like, my mama raised us. Um, Daddy ain't shit. I mean, hey. I'm black. Okay. <laughs> you know, shit happens looking ass. But, um, Damn. Damn. I don't know why I just said it. But it's, <laughs> it's the truth, it's reality. But I just grew up like with my mom. Um, very, grew up very creative. Was in performing arts. Um, uh, what else? Yeah. And I, it just, art just found me. I was always doing art as a kid and stuff like that. So, um, like I was doing art, I always was doing art. Nothing like nobody told me to do it. I just did it. Like you, there was just something that I was called to do. You did art in elementary school. Yep, I remember. Um, since you said elementary and art, <laughs> I got in trouble for like drawing a, a picture of my teacher because like her name was Miss Clark. I don't know if y'all know her from when I was going to Graves Elementary School. I had drew her. She was fat, y'all, and she I had drew her like and she had like a fupa. And then, like, she got so mad, she took me to the principal's office, like, because she was just, she looked at fat as hell in the picture. She <laughs> thought you were checking her? Oh, on some shit like that. That's funny. Was you checking her? No, I was just literally drawing her. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, my nigga she got was in trouble. She was mad as hell. Like, she, like, she looked at the picture. I was like, look, I was proud as hell. Hell yeah, She man. was like... She, I remember her snatching the picture and took me to the principal. I was, I was like, hey, that's one of them moments. Like, hey, like this, that shit happened to certain people. They just stopped drawing type shit. They stopped doing whatever fuck they wanted to do. That's one of them type of moments. I nah, this shit did not. Not for you. I don't know. I would, I would be mad. I'm like, bitch. I didn't know. I never draw again. As a child, I didn't know. Like, I'm kind of spiteful. I guess. I didn't know. Like, but now, like drawing people now, like when I do portraits and stuff, now I have to like. People, like, I notice people have a lot of insecurities about some stuff. Like, people be like, don't do my nose like these. Make sure you make me look skinnier and shit like that. But I be want to actually capture picture people how they actually are. But yeah. people don't be really liking, like, how they look for real. So do you cater? So do you, which one do you do? Do you capture them how they are or do you do what they request you? Quick. I mean... I still keep in mind what they want, but I, at the same time, I still put my own, like, twist to it. Um, but I still want to be, like, true to what I do as an artist. But I feel like it always work out, like, oh, for stuff sure. like that. Well, I ain't for sure, man. All right, so I was trying to start in, I was trying to start in elementary school. I can't talk. I was trying to start in elementary school. Oh, uh, so you did art in elementary school. You did art in middle school. <laughs> you did art in high school. I mean, like, okay, in middle school, I was, I was drawing, like, at home. But honestly, like, in middle school, I wasn't really doing art like that because my mama had us, like, in dance and stuff like that. So, like, oh, so- I was, like, like into dance and theater a lot. So like, you dance, too? Not no more. Not no more? Can you dance? I can still dance. So you be but, dancing, like, like uh, an eight count or you be shaking your ass? I'm not an eight count dance, like ballet right. type leaping and toe touches and Turn turns and shit. Like, 
I know how to dance for real, for real. But I just don't do that shit no more because, like, this, I love art so much. You just trying to. You, so, is, is painting, like, is that the only art form or? Nah, I know how to do, like, all types of shit. But, like, that's what I mainly do. But I'm a multidisciplinary artist, so, like, I can tap into, like, anything. Like, I know how to do sculpture. I probably, I be drawing digital art. Um, what else? I have, the only thing I haven't did was, like, photography. But I know how to do it, but I just don't do it. I know how to do all types of shit, honestly. For real? Yeah. All right. Okay, okay, okay. So, tell me about this shit. You want to talk about it or you don't want to talk about uh, it? This was a little emotional looking ass. Face it. This was a little emotional face that I'm just playing. Now, this one was, um, okay, so shout out to our art bully when we did the, um, what was it, crossing event. And um, she had us hey. partner up like with a different artist. So like I partner up with Roa. She was like a, she's an artist, like she does music or whatever. And I did a portrait or well, a painting based off her her song. I think it's called Mia Copa or something like that. So basically what I got from that was like, um, like this is like the moment before like two couples separate. Like they just want to enjoy each other before like they have to leave each other for Hell some yeah. reason. Hell yeah, cool. Hell yeah, cool. So that's what I got from that. You know what I'm saying? My. Okay, look. So part of me want to talk about like, okay. This is crazy. Part of me want to talk about, like, the colors, like, and, like, you know, how you do what you do. The other part of me want to talk about other stuff, like, life and shit. Do you? What? what? Like, relationships and shit. You Ooh, single? I'm very single. Why? Well, I just knew you was going to ask me this I had question. to, cause. I'm single, single. I had to. I'm single. You as single you can get. I'm not even talking to nobody single. You're not people, even talking to nobody? People don't even, like, I was, but, like, shit happens. <laughs> But, like, people just don't, I don't know, people just don't be believing me when I'm telling, I don't be talking to nobody. I don't, you know, you don't, I'm single as I'm it. dead. You don't look so like you won't talk to nobody. Anybody out there? Looking at this. Anybody out there? Which camera are you going to point to? Both of them. Make up your mind. Anybody out there, for real, like. Is you trying to, so are you single and ready to mingle? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, you like, you like. Dating for something serious, or you know, you, know, you actually like, <laughs> what? Well, do you yeah. got a man for me? Yeah, I said having fun. I, I mean, might not have a man right for now. Me. At the moment, I'm having fun. Like, I'm not like trying to like look for the nigga. Like, where he at? Like, because I feel like when you try to force some shit, it don't never go right. So I just be like, I be cooling. Like, you be cooling. You know, like I talk, I dibble and dabble here and there. Face it. But ass. until like I like somebody for real, like. I don't know. Until, like, it, you know when somebody, when it's for real, for real. Like, until that one come, I'm like, it, it is what it is. It's serious. It is what it is, man. Yep. Damn. That's crazy. What's crazy? Life. Yeah. That shit be crazy. That shit crazy. Dating is crazy. Yeah, dating shit. crazy as shit. You know. Nah, I'm that shit is crazy. <laughs> you know my dating life crazy. What the fuck? I don't yeah. even think I told you about the last situation, but we ain't gonna talk about that. Come on, let's talk about it. I wanna talk about it. Right now? Yeah, you ain't got to say no names. What's the last situation? Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't going to talk too much about it, but I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like when I like somebody, like, I be showing them that I like them, and I feel like I be doing too much. I don't know if I feel like I was putting too much pressure on the nigga, but, uh, oh, my gosh. But I don't know. Like, I don't know. I just feel like they wasn't, like. They weren't reciprocating. It wasn't that like we weren't even talking that long, but I feel like. But you like them? I don't know. I feel like I don't want to say like jealous type shit, but like it was just giving like jealous, insecure shit. Like cause you because of what happened. No, not me. Like oh, I'm damn. not. But I feel like because you know me, I'm a very like sociable person. I talk to everybody like when I'm out and stuff like that. So I feel like people take that around the wrong way. Like I'm all in other niggas' faces or something oh, okay. like that. But, like, I'm just, and me being who I am, like, an entrepreneur, I feel like I have to talk to people, like, and check in with them, like, because you never know what opportunities people have for you. So, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I really just don't know what happened. Like, I feel like it was some other shit going on, like, niggas don't be telling the whole truth about. But I just feel like this shit went down the drain real fast. You hear me? It be like that, though, sometimes. Yeah. 
She and then the problem, like you know, what I'm saying on my side, the issue for me when shit go wrong is that niggas just can't be honest about what the fuck happened. Like, hey, you was fucking that bitch over there, and then they came back. What? Well, that's cool. <laughs> you just wanted to fuck. That's cool. You just wanted to get to know me. You just wanted to be be, be nosy and see what the fuck I had going on in my life. Uh, I ain't really cool with that. Right. But what the fuck could I do about it? You know what I'm saying? Like, what could I really do about it? We just out here getting to know people. Right. Most of these niggas. Most of these niggas, and niggas for me is a June, a gender neutral, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, June, gender neutral, pronoun. <laughs> you hear me? What? Most of these niggas, women gender? and men included, ain't talking about shit, ain't about shit, ain't, they ain't talking about nothing. But you also know that I'm, me, on, on the other hand, I'm looking for something, you know what I'm saying? Right. But shit, I'm trying to get married at the same right. time, fool. At the same time, Lately, though, I've been thinking, like, maybe I ain't got to get married. You feel me? Maybe I could just... <laughs> maybe I could just have me, like, one, two, oh, three, God. maybe four. One, two, three, four, what? Friends. Why? You know what I'm saying? Friends? friends? No, friends. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you just, like, you're like me right now. Like, you can just talk to multiple people right now. Oh, I said, I'm, I'm looking for, like, so life partners type shit. type shit. type shit. I said, m- not really. Is uh, that what that is? Maybe kind of. It sounds like it. It sounds like it. <laughs> Talk some four or five. I'm just saying, one, two, three, four, maybe four. Four different people that we just cool, you know what I'm saying? They probably got their own thing going, right. maybe. This maybe like not. Poly. But I think that's also like, that might be me settling type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Because a nigga really want to be married, but at the same time, I'm going to beat these bitches up. I'm going to beat these bitches up. Beat the bitch up. Yo. Tell them how to leave I me alone. I I just. I ain't taking nobody serious right now. Like, it has to be proven in a way. Like, not saying somebody has to, like, kiss my ass. But, like, I don't know. I feel like I be showing a lot of love for real. And people just... Some people don't know how to accept love, though. Like, some that. people don't be wanting that shit for real. Like, no, I feel it too. You can be, like, a genuine-ass person, like, and got everything, like, for real, for real. And, like, motherfuckers do not, like... They just can't take it. They you know what I'm saying? Because that wasn't what they were looking for. So, look, I've been feeling like, like, I've been thinking to myself a lot. And I've been thinking, like, um, nobody really, I don't know how you, if you feel this way, but I feel like nobody really taught me how to date. You know what I'm saying? Like, and when I say how to date, I mean, like, um, so, like, they teach you about how people, like, as a woman, they teach you about how men should approach you, right? But they don't teach you, like, Okay, if they approach you this way, then what do you do? Or maybe I just need some very mm-hmm. specific I instructions. Agree. You know what I'm saying? So like when you when you see a red flag, mm-hmm. what do you do when you see the red flag? Because a lot of times we see red flags mm-hmm. and we just we don't really know what to do with them. So right. you may not put the person in a certain category or you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Leave if you need to leave. Shit. When you see that red flag, get the fuck on. Get out. Get out. Oh, so you ain't got no, so like the question. Get the fuck out. You, is that the only, you got any dating tips? Like you got any I mean, rules for dating? Like, like is there anything? For me, like I ain't no dating expert at all. But and none of us are no dating experts. But for th- real, like the dating I experts probably ain't even dating experts. I my bad. Is, <laughs> flex. But like my mom was like, I was raised by a single mother. Like. She ain't had the perfect relationships all her life. So I don't really, I haven't had no, no guidance of like how men should treat you. Cause I, my daddy wanted my life to tell yeah. me, but I know my daddy wants shit. So like, I feel like, um, I feel like I just learned from my mistakes and learned from what didn't work. So like, I just applied it to like people that I'm dating next. Like, okay, like this nigga treated me this way. I learned this from this situation. Like, just let me make sure I'm not doing this shit again with the next nigga. Or make sure, make sure I watch out for this type of shit with the next nigga. Because I already seen the patterns. So, when I see that shit again, yeah. I, I know to get the fuck on. Okay, so then how you do that? You know how, like, we let our past affect how we move in the future with... What you mean? Like, attaching past trauma to the, to a new person How not you? necessarily like i wouldn't just be like oh like he's just like that person but like it's stuff but that st- when you get to know people like people would tell the people will literally tell you like the red flags like motherfuckers will tell you like all the shit they've been through how they ex relationships used to be like they'll tell yeah. you so like you'll be like okay like they tell you that shit but you don't really 
like keep that in mind. Like you keep that in mind, but you don't really like just pay attention to this shit. Right. So like, it's just like once they tell you that, and then you see the shit that they do, you like, oh, so he got abandonment issues. Like he jealous. He did see that. Like I, he told me his mama wanted his life, or he told me his mama used to talk crazy to his ass. So he don't trust women. He ain't gonna trust me. Like it just be shit like that that I pay attention to. Right. Motherfuckers don't be healed. You right. You gotta be healed, like you gotta be healed within yourself to be in a relationship. Most people ain't looking to heal. Niggas don't even know how to heal, what healing is, or where to start with it. You feel me? Right. And and really, and low key, high key, think you lame if you doing that type shit. Right. Painful. I don't know. Fuck like, niggas, man. It really is like fuck these bitches, man. It really is. Fuck these niggas, fuck these bitches, man. Like I really love that nigga. I you really love that nigga. <laughs> looking ass. I actually really love that nigga. Nah. <laughs> Wait. I'm just playing. Man, tell me about your. I'm skipping. Tell me about your. Tell me about your outfit, man. My mm-hmm. outfit. Yeah. I got this from Shane. I got my boots from uh, Prilla Things. I got my. Where I get my shades from? I think I got my shades from Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova. Mm hmm. Yo. And my earrings from Sheen. Yeah. Fit check, fit check. So sweet. Some real cute and saying? simple. Hey, yeah, yeah, do. Fit check, fit check. Make your bitch wet. Yeah, whatever she be saying. Looking I ass. fuck with I fuck with her on it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right it up, Kate. Funny as hell. I fuck with her for real. Oh, God. You know, this is me. I got the, got the pants and the shoes. Check her out. The jeans. And I the love hoodie. them jeans. I appreciate it. Hey, it is spooky season, so. Spooky season. So what you doing? You you still come with us, right? I'm dead. What I'm what you ask me? <laughs> <laughs> ask the whole question. <laughs> you still come with us to the uh, honey house? Mine. Yeah, we gonna get outside. We gonna. Yeah. Oh, hey, look. I'm scared. Are you putting on the costume? I'm not putting on no motherfucking costume. The fuck me I and Jada like. Show was saying like she. I said I said Jada Shada type. She ain't gonna wear no costume. She just gonna pull up with a mask on and she <laughs> a light up mask. Yeah, wouldn't even do that. Shit. Oh god. Yeah, she gonna pull up in this outfit. What the fuck is y'all talking about? Crazy. I had to really be in the mood to put on a yeah, a costume. Yeah, I love I stuff like that. Like I love dressing up. Like who got extra money for this shit? Like I'm just what being, I'm just being real. Like, like dressing up. Who got extra money to go buy a motherfucking outfit for one night? I don't. I am. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I yeah. don't. Shit, I ain't gonna lie I'm to getting you. the motherfucking costume because like, I want to go to a costume party. Yeah. I just, I'm in the mood just to be mingling and shit. Like, so you gonna go to I the costume party? Outside. Yeah. You gonna when you go outside? You gonna like? You gonna go get down on the hose? I'm looking for the hose. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I'm single, like I ain't. It ain't no rules. Like I yeah, might as no well reason. enjoy be, me being single. I might like, go out with y'all. <laughs> once the lock, once I get locked down, you niggas ain't gonna hear from me. You hear me? Hey, I went to <laughs> I went to this uh this corn maze one time a long time ago when I was little. Uh, Jones Orchard. They do they do a a, corn, a honey corn maze. Jones Orchard. Jones Orchard on uh, Singleton Parkway. They never going, heard of it. Going towards Millington. Well, yeah, you gotta check this shit out. Man, we was we was going motherfucking. We was walking through the little corn maze because you know it's only one trail. He walked through the little corn maze. They go, they go. You know you getting scared the whole time, but you hear they go. Shh, 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 the uh, chainsaw. <laughs> I thought somebody was like. <laughs> My bad. Not you doing the uh, sound effects. Trying. Hey, oh nah, no fault from the chop y'all. Man, in there. I started running so motherfucking fast that I fell. Like tumbled over myself. I got stuck on this pole and I lost my glasses that night. Damn. <laughs> I was so mad, bro, because I can't see shit without my glasses. So imagine me the rest of the night. I'm st- I'm still running, but then I can't see. Like the girl on Scooby Doo <laughs> losing her glasses. You hear me? On the gr- on Scary God thing. and it's dark. It be ooh, a dark as hell. You got to do one light somebody cut. Somebody finna chop your ass. Ooh. Everybody leaving you. See, and I watch too many movies. I be thinking somebody trying to try me up for real. And you went to a corn maze? I never went to I've never been to a honey house or a corn maze. Never one neither one no. ever. I'm going You never been to Miss South? The Miss, to miss no, South? I never been to no corn maze. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. I I, I wanna use Fun fact to looking at. Look. I never been oh. to no corn maze at all. Is that so spits? Yeah, it's a <laughs> Hey. Face hey, ass. Gonna rap on you the scary be looking at you. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, man. So I do, I am having like an art show December the 2nd. Yeah. 
And it's called I'm the Problem. I guess that's going to be the name because I'm announcing it. Yeah. I'm the Problem is the name of my next art show. And yeah, so y'all can stay tuned for that. I don't want to talk too much about yeah. it because I still got to get some shit settled. Okay, well, give them a gist of what the, you know, the, so like, the feeling, the experience. Okay, the reason why I'm making I'm the problem is, first of all, I want people to dress up like cocktail attire. I want it to be like semi-fancy, semi-formal, because people been like just dressing however the fuck they want to dress at these events. Like, I want it to be Is you like, on their ass? No, like, okay. everybody, people know how to dress in Memphis. People be dressing this shit, but like... I just want I just want it to be a different like feel. I want it to be like kind of a little bit more sophisticated in a way. Um so yeah, I want y'all to dress y'all asses up. Put on them heels. Put on them heels. And um, get sexy. Yeah, but the art is basically going to be like me kind of like reflecting like on myself, like like my shadow self, like the shit that I need to work on, you know? So it's kind of like a healing thing for me. In a way, some of the pieces are like kind of like healing type shit. Like one is about like having faith and another one is about like tuning out the world and shit like that. So it's going to be like pretty cool. Man, I'm ready. Yeah. And you got a date new yet? New art. New art. December the 2nd. December the 2nd, y'all. Be on, be on, on the a lookout. Saturday. Be on the lookout. December Saturday. the 2nd. Come see this art. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Be so, it's... Hey. Buy some art. I'm gonna have merch and shit too, like posters. I'm trying to uh, in get the club, like in my post it with my okay, she right. Hey man, say man, we basically be it. Yeah, you know, right. I'm gonna figure this shit out. You know what I'm saying? We just go day by day. I ain't gonna lie. Day after day. I'm I'm one of them niggas that like jump in here first to shit and figure it out as I go, or I do nothing at all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't never really like per- perfect. Perfection. I don't think that shit live over here. You feel me? I don't think I, you know. <laughs> what you laughing at? I'm laughing at you, bro. Yeah, for real, I don't think perfection live over here. I just be most of the time, bro. I just be winging it. You know what I'm saying? And um, oh, the flow, my nigga. The you hear me? I pull up, pull out, um, do whatever I gotta do. Withdraw, paint, sing, write a song, do a podcast, motherfucker. And then the next time, put that shit out. Look at it. It's beautiful. The next time I'll be like, now how can I do that better? But, um. It's called life. You think Looking so? Ass. You think so? <laughs> That's how my uncle What yeah. you want to talk about, bro? I shouldn't ask you what I Should I not ask you what you want to talk about? No. I play too much. Play sad. What time is it? I want to talk about. I'm proud of you for making this doing this anyways because i've been telling you and asking me we ain't gonna do this podcast because you talk a lot of shit on your story oh god damn <laughs> i talk a lot of shit on my story you talk a lot of shit on your story which is a good talk shit you know i just said i like talking shit you know man yeah i'll be yeah i just be listen i'm trying to figure this podcast shit out like oh god like when i get here i don't know i guess i need to come with some type of plan you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. something to talk about something to do we can play games and you know right um but you, you, like you said, you're, it's not perfect. You're going to figure it out. It's like you're going to figure it out as you go. I appreciate you. Like, and just, like, just whenever you got time, just take the time just to sit down. Like, damn, what can I do to, like, make this shit take off? Like, do something different. Like, mm-hmm. it's already different because it's you anyway. So, yeah, we just been waiting on this. This is, like, something. This is, like, your lane. Hell, yeah. And you know what? I've been telling the key I was going to start this motherfucking podcast for so motherfucking long. And I just, I just mm-hmm. was waiting on the perfect shit, and I ain't see no perfect shit. But here at Cossett Library, I found the opportunity, and I decided to take advantage of it. You know what I'm saying? So we be in this bitch, and we recording in the hoe, and um, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Cossett. Shout out to Cossett. Shout out to Key. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to me. Fuck you, mean. And um, if we ain't talking about Instagram, and if we talking about the rants on Instagram, then nigga. You know what I'm saying? I just be telling people how the fuck I that's feel. You know what I'm about. saying? I just be stating how I feel. And I think that, like, that's why I started this whole, or at least that's why I wanted to start this whole, because I just feel like I got so much to motherfucking say. Mm-hmm. I feel like you say stuff that people want to say, but motherfuckers be, like, it's always that person that people, you're that person that say shit that <laughs> people needs to say and scared to say. Like, 
Damn. You're literally like the voice of the people. Like, motherfuckers really don't be, like, you voice your opinion. You're not scared to say what the fuck, like, you, it's on your mind, it's, you know. You hear me? So. I get a lot of backlash from that shit, too. Niggas, niggas, they hate when you speak up. They hate when you speak up, especially if, you know what I'm saying? You can't handle the truth. Fuck you, man. Looking at, looking fuck at you talking about. <laughs> You can't handle the truth. Niggas hate when you speak up, though. Oh, God. They, um, I mean, I just feel like people feel like it's, a, it's it's an attack against them. But in my life, in my world, you know what I'm saying? If you see some, if you see a place or an area where niggas can improve, you state that. You know Thanks. what I'm saying? And that's how you show love yeah, in my world. Yeah, that's real you know love, for real. That's very true. That's very fucking true. Mm. Like, that's how, that's like tough love. Like, my sister, like, that's how my sister is, like... She be like, you got an attitude today, like. But I hate that when people say I be acting like I have an attitude, cause I be feeling like I'm a nice ass person. But, <laughs> but I be like, you know, she right. I do need to like have a better attitude sometimes. But people just need to like, I don't know, not be people, so sensitive, not be sensitive, and like think people like you're right. People don't know how to take accountability. So, I don't know. Right. It's just growth. People just need to learn how to grow and want to grow. People don't want to grow. People be comfortable where they at, and it's where they want to stay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wherever they comfortable at. But she, that's where you fucked up at. That's where you fucked up at, nigga. My, my. Guess what? I'm cute. Me too. Damn. Very sad. I'm trying to see. So, how you want to um end your year, like? Cause it's only three, like three fucking months left. It's October of twenty twenty three. Like, what you want to end my year? Like, how you gonna make the most of these last three months? I ain't gonna lie. Fuck these last three months. That's no. how I really feel. This no. how. This no. how I. This how I really, 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 really feel. Right. Um. But uh. Don't feel. My that birthday way. is coming up. My birthday is November the second. Yeah. So we got up. like two, three weeks till that happen. Um, then, you How know. How old you turn? I'm turning 27. Face it. Yeah, be. You grown, girl. I'm be almost 30, boy. <laughs> Tell your fine daddy. I said My fine daddy. <laughs> what you play it? You know I just be saying stupid shit. My daddy. Shit. I don't know. My daddy. No, just shut up. <laughs> talking. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, it's Thanksgiving, Christmas, so I'm just hustling my ass off. Working on getting these podcast episodes out. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm be, I be working on, if y'all know or don't know, I do a bunch of shit. So I'm just working on um, getting my shit together and organizing it. And uh, like, I came, this, where I am at this time last year, it's crazy difference between this. Like, I, I don't, like, I don't feel like I did a fucking whole lot to get there, but I definitely know that this time last year, as far as what my business plans and how I'm trying to put shit together, nigga, I'm so much, I'm still making progress. It's slow or fast, a lot of progress, little progress, I'm making progress, you feel me? It don't matter. You, you moving now. You feel me? And, um, you bitches got me fucked up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and this shit is my fuck you. This is my, this shit my fuck you, I'm God. This is my fuck you, love, you love little. You feel me? You should have stayed down. You should have stayed Crazy down, nigga. Yeah. Crazy yeah, girl. You cussing a lot. I want to cuss. I said we cussing oh. a lot. <laughs> me too. I want to cuss too. We childish. Just say, I want to cuss. <laughs> fuck God. you. I want to cuss. I'm glad I want to cuss. That's why I say like, I'm glad. When I get another space, when we get another space. He's up. You feel me? We gonna be drinking in here, home. Rolling up uh, big woods. Yeah, big gotta roll big Beckys. I'm just playing. I don't even smoke back woods while I'm doing it. I do. Why well, I'm lying? I don't know. I smoke it when somebody passes it to me. You funny as hell. You know how to roll? <laughs> Not a, uh, Not a back I, I roll what I can. I do what I can. <laughs> I roll up what I can. You be you be in the sessions and you pass your weed to your nigga so he can roll for you. That's type of basically. Basically. But niggas be making me roll. Like I'm just a perfect roller. Well, I maybe I can roll a well, blunt. I do know how to roll a blunt up though. Don't I know how to roll a blunt. I feel like depending on the type of nigga you is and the type of woman you is, it's like it's kinda like a thing for you to like have your your nigga, your bitch roll for you, taste. Right. Oh God. What the fuck? On some, on well, some, some like, niggas I've been around, they be rolling they own shit because they be rolling them big ass boys. I be like, sometimes, I mean, yeah, I feel that too. Too much. I know, I know niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas that have plenty of weed on them, 
They don't roll not a single thing. They gonna hand you all the weed and tell you to roll it. Oh God. You hear me? Here. But ain't nobody made me roll the last previous situation I wasn't rolling up shit. You ain't rolling up. I ain't have to roll shit up. You just sat there and smoked it. Facts. You be getting spoiled, huh? Yeah. You be getting spoiled in your relationships? I like getting spoiled. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I spoil a nigga back. Like I like that's how I am, like, man. I like I spoil the shit out of niggas, like for real. That's crazy. I'm a trick. Nah. Trick daddy. Take I'm just playing. That was like, take it back. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I ain't no trick, though. Like, take it back. But, nah, but you, but you, but I'm you, just playing. You said you'll be tricking for the one you love. You, nah, you don't mind nigga, spending that money. spoil me, too. But I'm like, if I like you and I fuck with you for real, like, I'll show you a lot of love. Like, I ain't never had nobody on. I'm not no trick, though. Let me take that out. I ain't never had nobody on. Like, <laughs> buy me anything. I mean, like, I probably had one girl buy me one thing for my birthday. But, mm. And I think I think one Christmas, um, my best friend back in high school and shit, he bought me a shirt, a plaid, a plaid shirt for Christmas. Other than that, um, I don't really like. I can't recall nobody buying shit for me. Like, it's crazy. And then when I think about love languages and shit, like I be thinking like, damn, I feel sorry for the people who love languages. It's gifts, and they won't if they want gifts for me because I just really like. You know what I'm mm. saying? It's hard to like. Okay, I can give a gift type shit, mm-hmm. but I value like time and, mm-hmm. and like people helping me, me be productive. Right. You know what I'm saying? So what is that? Um, Acts of service. Acts of service. And uh, what is it called? Quality time Quality and acts of service. Yeah. And I think probably like, I don't know, I think gifts at the bottom of my list though. And words of affirmation probably be out there. Uh, gifts and quality and touch. Probably I think bottom. quality time is important to me, like for real, for real. Um, I don't know, acts of service. I don't know. I think I'm big, big on people supporting me. Like, if you my yeah. man, you have to support me. Like, so I do think like acts of service. I think most of shit. I'll give me all the little like you want all of them. <laughs> yeah, buy me gifts here and there. But I don't think I'm just big on like. You don't have to buy me shit every day, but like I love flowers and shit like that. Like my, my. I love, but I do feel like when I like when a man pay attention to stuff that you like. Like it does, like you know, shows that they're interested. But I'm very big on quality time, kicking it with you, and make sure you support me because I'm an entrepreneur. Like if you support me, that shit mm. that make them more attractive. Yeah, I love when somebody support me. They look like. They make you wanna. It don't make me wanna do nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I just think it's important to support like somebody that shows them like this shows me that like you 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 room for me. Like, you know what I mean? You want me to be my own boss, like you want me to do my own thing, not trying to make me like be under you type shit. I fuck with it. I fuck with it for sure. For sure, for sure, right. for sure. My my Hey man, say man. I think we're gonna wrap it up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? This hey. was fun. I like this. <laughs> Thank you. I liked it. This was real fun. I'm I'm ready like for this to I see it I see it going, going, going. Just keep doing this shit. Oh god, I appreciate it. I feel like this shit I feel like I got some work to do, but I feel like it'll go far. Everybody you know got doing? work to do. I Somebody got love do. work to do. So um man, make sure you wanna do the the regular shit. Make sure you uh like, follow, subscribe, all uh, that shit, you know what I'm saying? Or uh, send it to your best friend, send it to your boo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, it's your boo thing, we all in it, oh pillow talking, make sure y'all watch Shay Shay, you know what I'm saying? You hear me? That's weird. But yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just playing for Get a little views. Hey yeah, make sure y'all come down to Kazi Chick, Kazi it out. Um Man. Is they cooking down there? Man, yeah, they caught that food down there. Dos hermanos. Fire. Fire, bro. I love this library. I'm living here. Don't live here, bro. I'm just playing. I live here now. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> and, like, check out this beautiful art. Check out, uh, drop your tags. Oh, yeah, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Art Bay Key. Um, and, yeah, follow me. Make sure y'all like some shit. Get some art. Cop some art for me. Um, and make sure you follow my art business page, which, which is the key, the number two, arts. Yeah, man. Follow me at the Shay Shack Production House. That's at T.S.S.
dot p dot h you feel me and cop this merch you know what i'm saying get you a photo shoot shoot you some videos you know what i'm saying all of the above and you know maybe you'll be next on the podcast you know hit me up man send me a proposal not a proposal a proposal <laughs> I make niggas do applications. Fuck. Send in an application to be on here. Bye. Bye. In the cut, and I posted with my. Okay.